Okay, good morning. So today's gonna be a really nice day today. Um, you know, at least nice for where I live. <laughs> hey Siri, what's the weather going to be like today? It's currently partly cloudy and 36 degrees. What is 36 degrees in uh, Fahrenheit? The answer is 96.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Under a hundred, that's good. During quarantine, a lot of people are just realizing that they don't like being alone. They don't like um, being with their thoughts or maybe they have never been alone. They've never been with their thoughts. And I think because I'm an only child, I've always just been alone. I've always been with my thoughts. That's why I'm an overthinker. That's why I have anxiety. Um, and that's also why I'm very good at self-regulation. I have good coping mechanisms. Good at reading myself. I'm good at reading my body signs and my emotions. Like, I'm good at those things. If you want to go shop at a new store or try out a new restaurant or check out a park, you definitely shouldn't be hindered by the fact that you don't have anybody to go with just go. Moral of the story is if you want to go do something by yourself, just go do it. Do it. Go do it. You'll enjoy it. So the first thing I want to do is go to Party City to get some earring supplies um, because I I just love lesbian earrings. I love just like the pure willpower to turn anything into an earring. The minds of these women, amazing. It inspires me to no end. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I'm ready to go. I have my matching mask, the strawberry earrings, and the strawberry. Strawberries everywhere! Strawberries! Strawberry! Okay, this is the entire reason that I came to Party City because I wanted to make earrings out of these mini watercolor. And then I just got some Hello Kitty stuff. So there's a Rubrics cube. And then I also got this little camera. Okay, I just have to say that I'm very thankful for the masks because it deflected from my, this situation here. Flashback, it's March 2020, the shelves are empty. You can't even fathom the fact that you may have to wipe your ass with water in the shower. So you grapple with an elderly woman for that coveted Hello Kitty soft toilet paper. What a time. Pineapple is, she says, What do you mean? 
She got an attitude. I call her pineapple. Yeah, she's sweet with sour. I don't feel so good. <laughs> wow. How beautiful. Um, that short would not leave my brain. I could not go on without sharing that thought in my brain with you guys. And I almost didn't post this video because of it, so... <laughs> But to end this video, the central theme is being okay with being alone and something that I regret but I guess it's just a lesson to me now is there was a time in my life where I was super just desperate for friendship. I felt really alone and I didn't have any friends so when I did make a friend, I ignored a lot of red flags and you know, I kind of just made excuses for them because I just wanted the friendship to work out so badly <laughs> you know and I think it's something with relationships like for a future partner you're super keen on nipping things in the bud when you see red flags but when it comes to friendship I feel like we're not as encouraged to do so and it's also like one of the worst parts of my personality is I'm very non-confrontational and if something like kind of weird happens that I don't like or that I feel uncomfortable with I don't really say anything about it until I'm laying in my bed late at night and I'm thinking about it and I'm like wow um, that really bothered me I should have said something and then I'm in the shower um, thinking about all the things that I should have said and uh, I just I think a lot of us are looking for that tribe of friends that are super close, that just get each other, that are friends forever, like New Girl or Friends or any one of those TV shows where like people live together and they spend every day together and they have all these quirky adventures. I would give anything for that, but you know, it's a TV show maybe things aren't really like that in real life maybe you have a friend that you're really close with for a year or two and then you drift apart and that's okay people aren't meant to be yours they're not meant to be yours forever and maybe the person that you made friends with three years ago isn't the same person that they are now and maybe you guys aren't compatible anymore and that's okay because we're supposed to grow and we're supposed to change friendships come and go maybe you learned a few things about yourself along the way and you know what more can you ask for because at least you had those fun times that you had and you know it's just a memory to look back on <laughs>